Well, Wendy, can't be far from our new jobs now. Uh, new jobs, all right. But when do we eat? Just as soon as we get to the Bar Rex Ranch. In the meantime, I'm plenty thirsty. How about lifting your canteen? Enough. First, we'll have to find water for the horses. Oh, so you think more of these critters than you do of me, huh? Depends how you look at it. You're supposed to have more sense than a horse. All right, Tom. The horses win. <laughs> There's the water trough. Why, it's dry. Give me your hat. Uh, what? Here, hold it. Now, give me your horse. You sure like horses, don't you? <laughs> you bet I do. I wish I was a horse. All right, here. Thanks for the hat. Where are you heading? Bar X Ranch. Well, you better head back where you came from. But we've been promised jobs at the ranch. They ain't a hiring men at the Bar X. They're firing them. But listen to me. Listen up and get off your horses. Now tell me what's the big idea. Well, there's been a lot of horse stealing going on around here, and we don't want any strangers messing around. I think you're lying. You two look like a couple of horse thieves yourselves. Take off your boots. Come on, take them off. Watch him, Wendy. Take them, Wendy, and tie them to your saddle. Whew. You can call for your boots at the bar X Ranch in care of Tom Riley. Now get. Come on, get. Get going.
with the fence, Bert. My men are waiting on the other side. I'm about ready. You can tell Jim to start the bunch. All right, Jim, get them going. All right. All right, let's bring them on. Say, don't you forget to back me up when I tell old man Baker about that phantom luring that bunch of mares through this fence and all. Sure thing. Don't I always back you up? Yeah. Well, you see, I'm only the foreman around here, and I wanted to make sure. He'll take your word being a neighboring rancher before he'll ever beat me. Don't worry. I'll protect you, all right, and then we'll split 50-50. All okay. right, Mac. Back to the ranch and tell Baker the bad news. Well, if Bert pulls the old stall about the phantom stealing Baker's horses, he's going to be dead right this time. It's pretty tough when you cup a bunch of horses and that hungry stallion grabs them away from you. Yeah, that horse ain't nothing but a horse thief. Hey, I'll bet your boss Mac's gonna be pretty sore at you when he finds this out. Maybe he won't believe you. Well, he'd better. He ain't got nothing on us and we've got plenty on him. On your mind. Let Bert here tell it. Well, that phantom horse just stole another bunch of our best brood mares. We were right inside the south fence when the phantom ran up and neckered. We saw the whole thing. Well, this is going to be the end of the phantom. I'll give a thousand dollars to any man that brings me the head of that stallion. But, Dad, it's a shame to kill him. He's such a beautiful horse.
Helen's right. I think we ought to try and take him alive. Nonsense, Mac. Nobody can catch that horse alive. Why, you've lost horses enough of your own through him, and I can't afford to lose any more. So it's a thousand bucks for his head, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I'll be going, Baker. Sit down, Bert. As soon as I get this figured out, I want you to go into town and get the printer to run off some handbills. All right. Hey, Mac, the Phantom really did run those wild horses through the break in the fence. Don't worry. Just keep your mouth shut. Go on, beat it. I'll tell you later. Something is the matter with that horse. Phantom. I wish I knew the spell you got on horses. No spell. I just like them. Well, they sure like you. Shoot that horse. Let's catch him. Catch him nothing. He double crossed me, and besides, I want to get that thousand bucks. What's the idea of shooting horses? Is that a new kind of sport? What business is it of yours? I've made it mine. If you knew what I knew about that horse, you'd want to shoot him too. I never shot a horse in my life, unless I had to put him out of his misery. Oh, yeah? Well, there's a price on his head. Call yourself a cowboy and try to shoot horses for money, yeah? Let him up, Wendy. Get out before I get sore. Gee, 
Gee, what a licking I could have given that feller if I'd have just had a good meal on my stomach. <laughs> Certainly thankful for what you've done. And I'm thankful to the horse for giving me the chance. <laughs> well, here's your horse, miss. Well, at least that's one horse the Phantom hasn't stolen yet. Is he in the habit of stealing horses? Why, he's cut my dad's herd right in two. You see, we own the Bar X Ranch. And if the Phantom keeps on stealing horses, why, there won't be much left worthwhile owning. So you're Miss Baker. I'm Tom Riley. This is the coffee cooler, Wendy. Howdy. I have a letter from a friend of your dad's to put us on the payroll. I'm afraid my dad won't be able to use any extra hands. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can get rid of the Phantom. My dad has offered a thousand dollars reward to anyone who will bring him the head of that stallion. It would be a shame to shoot a horse like that. That's what I told dad. But he's just got to get rid of that animal some way. It's a shame the way he's been getting rid of our best mares. Suppose I catch him and break him. Nobody's been able to get near enough to put a rope over his head. I'm afraid you haven't a chance. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take a job with your dad's outfit and no pay unless I deliver the Phantom to you, broke to saddle. That's an awfully rash promise. It's a go. Suppose we uh, hightail it back to your ranch and sample some of that cook's vittles. Then we figure out some more about that there Phantom. You're on. Let's go. That's all I ask, Mr. Baker. It's 48 hours. Ma'am, I'll give you two days to catch the Phantom alive. I'll call off my reward offer so they won't any of the boys try to shoot him. And if you catch him, I'll give you a thousand dollars bonus. You can do whatever you like with him so long as you keep him off the range. <laughs> That's what's me fine. Provided you won't let anybody interfere with me. Well, what I say usually goes on the ranges. Hello, Mac. Hello, Miss Cullen. How are you? Tom, I want to meet Mr. Larkin. I mean, Mr. Riley. How do you do? Glad to know you. He's our new top hand around here, and he's promised to catch them alive. Wow. Mr. Mack is a neighbor rancher of ours, 
And the Phantom has stolen a lot of his horses also. Yes, that Phantom horse has been quite a problem around here. Tom has promised to catch the Phantom alive within 48 hours, haven't you, Tom? Right. So you see, it's up to Tom to do the trick. Now, I don't think he can do it, but he says he can. Maybe he's got much more sense about horses than we have. All I know about horses is that they've got horse sense, which is a lot more than some of us humans have. Maybe he's got so much sense it makes him a first-class horse thief. You know, hearing so much about this phantom being a horse thief makes me think that the real crook isn't built like a horse at all. What are you driving at, Tom? I'm willing to bet that the real horse thief has only got two legs instead of four. Well, I hope you catch the guilty one, whether he has four legs or two. Look like them fresh guys is inside. This is their horses. I'll go in and find out. I'll do my best. Hello, Bird. Meet Tom, your new top hand. I'm glad to see you again. Can't say the same on my part, partner. You fellows know each other? He almost killed me when I tried to shoot that phantom horse. By the way he took up for him, you'd think he owned him. I'm sorry, my friend, but I don't like people going around trying to shoot horses. Well, what I did to you, my friend, is nothing at all to what's going to happen to the next fellow I catch trying to shoot that horse. <laughs> well, you'll have to call it a draw, boys. It's just one of those misunderstandings. Let's all have a bite of lunch and forget all about the phantom for a while. Good. I'm hungry, aren't you? Whew. What a cook. I could die eating food like this. What a man. Here's a brand new lemon pie for you. Are you sure you like my vittles? Like them? Oh, I love them. Wendy, you believe in love at first sight? I believe in love at the first bite. Ha. Look at that. This is the third fence cut we found today, and cut with pliers. Right you are. Well, let's hightail it back to the ranch before we find another break. Or else, uh, Or else what? We'll miss our supper. And I'm sure in condition to absorb a lot of that food. Anyhow, this ought to convince Mr. Baker that somebody else is at the job besides the Phantom. Oh, never mind. Let's go get something to eat. Listen, Wendy. That's all you do is eat, eat. This is where I'm going to get Mr. Phantom. Well, good luck, cowboy.
Oh, handsome. <laughs> oh, we're friends, aren't we? <laughs> oh. Well, Wendy, I almost had him. Yeah. But the fellow that shot my Larry at the part must have had a good reason. Well, whatever his reasons might have been, I'm sure glad he didn't shoot you apart. Well, I'll get that horse yet. Next time, you better carry a little salt with you and put on his tail. Bigger and tell them about those cut fences. I don't care what you're going to do. I'm going to eat. I can't understand why you believe a strange cowboy rather than take my word for it. I think he's honest. And I'm inclined to believe that he's right when he says we should look for a two-legged horse thief instead of blaming that poor phantom for everything. Well, it looks suspicious to me the way he sticks up for that horse. I couldn't help hearing what you said. I wish you'd tell me how a horse can bite through four strands of barbed wire fence. I found your south fence cut in three places this afternoon, Mr. Baker. You sure it wasn't the wooden fence just broke down? I'm sure I know a barbed wire fence when I see it. And I know no wild horse carries a pair of pliers in its pocket to cut wires. Well, did you see Bert and tell him about this? No, sir. I thought I'd tell you first. Well, come on, Mac. We'll find Bert and tell him about it. You get your supper, Tom. We'll see you later. Would you like to take a little walk with me along the creek? I'd like to talk to you. I'd love to. You get all your men and fix those fence breaks first thing in the morning. Then keep all you can spare for riding line. How about the Phantom? I'd sure like to collect that thousand bucks on his hide. Oh, Bert. Tom's got another day to catch him. You know, I don't trust that fella. I wouldn't be surprised if he broke those fences down himself. Nonsense, Mac. He's got nothing to gain by lying. I think he's right in suspecting somebody else besides the Phantom. But how can he prove it? No one's ever seen any of the horses again. Well, that's just it. But if the Phantom had stolen all those mares, they'd be running with him, wouldn't they? I guess you're right. Then if Tom catches the Phantom, then all we have to do is wait and see if any more horses are stolen. I'm glad you're seeing things my way. Well, I'm going to turn in. I'll see you in the night. Well, Bert, I guess the jig's up. Meaning what? Meaning you and I are the losers. How do you figure? Well, the horses are gone, ain't they? Yeah, and you know darn well where they went. Don't be silly. The Phantom took them. Say, are you trying to kid me? I wouldn't think of it. Search my range. That don't mean a thing to me. All I want is my 50-50 split. Listen to reason. This fellow Tom's put one over on us. He's fixed it so we can't use the Phantom for an excuse any longer. Meanwhile, the horses are gone. Yeah, but you do know where they are. I told you to search my range. I'll gladly give you what's coming to you if you find anything. Is that a go? Sure. You'll get what's coming to you. All right, I'll take you up on that. Good night, old boy, and good luck. I just left Bert. He's getting suspicious about those mares. Ah, oh, don't worry about him. He's getting anxious about his share. Well, he won't get it. I'll tell you what to do. Get the boys together and meet me in town in about a half an hour at the San Domingo. All right.
sure a pretty spot. Mm -hmm. Too bad it's going to waste. To waste? Well, what I mean, it's just made for lovers. You're right. But there just don't seem to be any lovers around right now. I hope you won't thank me forward if I ask you a personal question. I'll let you know if it's too personal. Has somebody got any claims on you? Oh, I mean, uh, are you engaged or something? No. But why should that interest you? Because, well, I was thinking that maybe someday this spot might come in handy. What was it you were saying about catching the phantom tomorrow? Well, as I said, if you'd let me have your mare tomorrow morning, I'd catch him all right. What has my mare got to do with it? Well, the phantom is quite stuck on her, and I want to use her to trap him. Oh, I see. The weak female always lures the brave male. Yep. I guess that's what makes the world go round. Say, uh, I just overheard a very interesting conversation about some horses. You and me had better ride into town. All right, Wendy. That fellow is spying on us. I want yeah. two beers. Well, if he is. Maybe we can show him a thing or two. Sorry, my friend, but you seem to be in my way. Oh, tenderfoot, eh? Yeah, kind of. But I wouldn't advise you to step on them. broke up the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When the phantom comes on to meet the lady friend, he won't be able to get away this time. Uh, suppose he down in his pocket and pulled out got himself loose. <laughs> Not with Bert and Mac being around. Do you think those two fellows had anything to do with this horse wrestling? I bet my last dollar on it.
Here he comes. It worked. Oh. Oh, don't you know a friend when they see one? Oh. Oh, boy. On time, Wendy. Don't be a scared boy. I'm just trying to keep you from being shot. Here, Wendy. You take the rope off, and I'm going to ride him. Hey, you got your salt cellar with you? I won't need it. He's gentle as a lamb. I'm afraid our friend Tom's going to have a long walk back home. He should have taken his roller skates with him. Drop that gun. Well, Mr. Riley, looks like you're out of luck this time. Well, you don't have to worry about him, boss. He's safe.
Joe, and you too, Jim. Gather them bunches together and drive them across the line. Dick and I'll cover you in the rear. Watch out. Bert, we'll split 50-50. Now we are good. talking. Leaps for the ceiling, Mac. Well, I found your horses. Right you are, Bert. I told you if you found them, you'd get what's coming to you. You bet I will, you double-crosser. Drop that gun, Bert! Catch the bunch to the north and drive them along with the rest. I'll ride ahead and see if the coast is clear. All right, Mac. What do you know about this? Mac's the guy. Got me to help steal Baker's herd. He double-crossed me. Now I'm going to double-cross him and tell Baker all I know. All right. Ma, let's get out of here. Tom thought he caught the Phantom, but I think the Phantom caught him. In fact, I think the Phantom kidnapped Tom. Follow Sand Creek Trail into Hidden Canyon. Find me in the cabin. Mac is the horse thief, and it's fine Tom. Listen, Dad's riding the south fence with the boys. You go and get him. You bet you I will. Come on. Come on. I'm 
better catch myself a horse. Oh, boy. Oh. Mr. Baker, Tom's got the horse seats corralled. Now don't ask any questions. We got to hurry. Here's your two-legged horse thief, and the rest of the crooks are up there. Go on up from Wendy. Mr. Baker, 
Your friend Mac here forced me to go into cahoots with him, stealing your horses and bringing it on the Phantom. I'm willing to take my medicine if he gets his. Well, you tell her the rest. I've got to go and see that my boys don't treat those horse thieves too rough. I can forgive a whole lot for you turning state's evidence. Come on, Harry. Come on. Well, I guess that's what makes the world go round. Yes, but how am I going to get home without a horse? Thank you. 